Hey, all viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Strategist. Welcome back to Say Being Hunted, episode 365 now. So, my goodness, we have the equivalent of a whole year in episodes. Well, not really, considering that, of course, um, episodes of Sir are, what, at minimum only about 15 minutes long, at maximum only a couple of hours. But um, we're back here, of course, on the North Island, continuing on with our Blunderbuss Bust Challenge. One stick of dynamite, but we've got a little bit of... Uh, Blunderbuss ammo, which we can use if need be. There is one more device piece uh, on this island that we need to find. Then we can head back to the centre and deposit it, or deposit all three of them rather, before heading on to another island. So I hope you guys out there are enjoying the channel, uh, the channel, well, that and the challenge as usual. You know me, I always uh, kind of start off conversations in that way, don't I? Now, where are we? Let's just get the lay of the land again over here. We won't try to disturb the birds over there. Was there a device piece off in that direction? I could have sworn there was, unless I'm just misremembering. I could have sworn it was off that way, but I don't know. Now, something actually um, that I do want to talk about, just, um, you know, as we're doing the episode, as a topic of conversation. Remember a couple of episodes ago, I was talking about that friggin' uh, <laughs> you've reposted in the wrong trousers video that I uh, encountered here on YouTube, the one which was basically a uh, mashup of Wallace quotes from Wallace and Gromit, where it'd been all combined into a song, something like that. I wonder if actually we could kill off a poacher somewhere around here, if there's one nearby, that is. What's the final device piece around here? I don't know. But uh, as I was saying, basically, that um, video was also... Well, that video was basically by a channel called Hour of Poop um, on YouTube, and... I've been watching a bit more of that channel recently, and what I've noticed is that that channel actually has a few videos on it, which are basically um, basically piss takes on Wallace and Gromit, let's put it that way. Um, so basically, there's a couple of ones I've seen where it's essentially Star Wars Episode 3, except Palpatine has been replaced with Wallace. <laughs> it's really hilarious. I mean, whoever runs that channel, they've done a fantastic job with um, basically superimposing Wallace over Emperor Palpatine in these things, in these silly videos. It, it basically, it's, it's clips from Star Wars, and like I say, they haven't been reordered or anything like that, but they've basically been reworked, so that in essence, instead of old uh, thingy bob instead of all them for Palpatine it's just Wallace there and so one of them is the scene from Star Wars Episode 3 where Mace Windu and a load of the other Jedi dudes basically go in and try to arrest Palpatine in his office except of course in that one it's Wallace instead of office and it's instead of office instead of uh, Palpatine and it's hilarious Master Windu <laughs> won't you have some cheese and it's like uh Mace Windu responds with, you're under arrest, or we're arresting you in the name of whatever, Jedi Council or whatever. And then his, Wallace's response is, well, it's no use prevaricating around the bush. <laughs> so there's that, that's a scene, and that was hilarious. But also there's another one where it's um, the fight between Palpatine and Yoda in the big Senate chamber, whatever it is. But in that one, it's funny because Yoda's lines um, have been altered and cut and spliced about, so that it sounds like he's saying all kinds of things like cheese leads to the dark side and <laughs> whatever else have you uh, but if there's one thing I've also learnt from those freaking videos is that Wallace can actually be kind of terrifying <laughs> in the right situation go watch them ladies and gentlemen if you haven't just search for the channel Hour of Poop there's probably more of them other than those two that I've mentioned here there's probably loads more of them but, you know, having watched those, it also got me thinking about Star Wars in general. Because the thing is, I have not watched a Star Wars... Well, I was about to say I haven't watched a Star Wars movie or film in quite some time. Because the thing is, I... If I had to say, what was the most recent Star Wars film that I've watched? It'd probably be Rogue One. Uh, and even then, that was probably quite a while ago. But in terms of the original... Star Wars trilogy, or the prequels um, that were made much later, or indeed the uh, more recent Star Wars films. Yeah, it's been a long time. In fact, for the kind of most recent ones, 
with, you know, freaking Kylo Ren and Rey and all those characters. I've never watched any of them. Rogue One is the most up-to-date Star Wars film that I happen to have watched. And, um, thoughts on it? You know, that was alright. I mean, the thing is, like, kind of... I feel, I feel like the most entertaining character in Rogue One was the robot, the droid dude. You know, the big black droid. Him. The actual, I don't know, protagonist herself, I, kind of, I was kind of meh about. I think the problem is that, like, I feel like there's a lot of movies these days with kind of very moody protagonists. It's like, or, or, you know, these protagonists who always have these incredibly tragic backstories of injustice and things like this. And as a result, their whole characterization feels very samey. It's like they're kind of quiet, brooding, moody, angsty, and they don't speak much. And it ends up feeling like that's all there is to them. And I get sort of what, you know, story writers are going for with characters like that, but I do feel like maybe, just maybe every once in a while, they could mix things up with a protagonist who's a bit different. But yeah, that's just my thoughts. <sighs> but yeah, I, I, it's like I say, I feel like there's a lot of media out there which always goes for that kind of moody protagonist. I'm, I'm going way off the beaten track here. I've completely lost track of where the wisps were going before in terms of locating the final device piece. You know, if I had a friggin' scanner, maybe that would make things easier. Alright, let's uh, just keep wandering around then. You know, if you ask me what's my favourite Star Wars movie... Aha, there's a wisp there, we'll follow that. Um, I'd actually have to think about it. What would be my favourite Star Wars movie that there's uh, been? It's hard to say, because obviously, like I say, I haven't watched them in quite some time. I mean, I won't lie. Of the prequel movies, Episode 3 wasn't too bad. I kind of liked that. I mean, uh, they certainly turned the edge factor up quite a lot on that one. Um, but... Of the original, I mean, the, all of the original three movies were pretty good in their own way, to be honest. They were all kind of memorable. I mean, obviously, New Hope is the one that kind of started it all, so it's quite memorable in that regard. But then you had Empire Strikes Back. Return of the Jedi, though, I don't, I don't know, maybe Return of the Jedi would be probably one of the best ones. Aha, I think I see. Is that a plume of smoke? No, it's not. Damn it, I thought I saw a plume of smoke. Oh, no, I do see a plume of smoke off over there. I'm just looking in completely the wrong direction. Alright, we can get this final device piece and then get back to the center island and that'll be fine. Oh yeah, Return of the Jedi, hella good. Partly just for the freaking Ewoks. Because everybody loves a fucking Ewok, don't they? Or you. That's you out of here. Let me reload. Oh. I'm glad that my character can always sprint. Shit. Drink. Fuck. Oof. Need to, uh... <laughs> Take a bandage there, I could have died so quick. Oh boy. You always gotta be careful with a blunderbuss, because you have to get so close up and in their face in order to use it most effectively. Of course, that puts you at great risk as the player. Right, um, let me do some movement here. There we go. Got out of there. Right. That is all the device pieces on this island. So now. Oh god. Sorry, guess. <laughs> Coming up my throat from your tea. It's what you always get when you've been drinking tea and then you have to start doing lots of talking like I'm doing at the same time. Ah, <sighs> yes. Oh dear. Oh, man. I probably, I, you know, going back to the topic of Star Wars, there's probably so many installments now in that franchise that keeping up with all of them would be really, really difficult. Ooh, freaking cliffside house here. Living at. Oops, jeez. <laughs> it's not quite going right down to the ground there, but never mind. Ah, oh, these crazy, wacky terrain generations. Well, let's keep moving. Maybe we can um, investigate a few doors while we're moving. Whilst we're heading back to where we need to be. Because uh, there might be ammo and things around that we can just pick up and take with us. Back to our hidey hole on the centre. Uh, actually, yeah, I could do with maybe getting more bandages. Uh, I've already got three now, including that one I just picked up. Maybe that's not so much of an issue. Well, let's keep going. So, let me know, ladies and gentlemen, down in the comments, what's your favourite Star Wars movie and all that. Assuming, you know, you do like them. Assuming that you've even watched them, that is. I mean, then again, you've had friggin' God knows how many years now to watch them. I mean, the original three, they were, what, friggin' 70s? Well, New Hope, certainly. It was, um, released in the 70s, wasn't it? 
Oh, old Mark Hamill. He's an actor who, I think, more than anything, is going to be remembered for his time in Star Wars, isn't he? Because, you know, if you asked me to name another big role that Mark Hamill has played, not going to lie, I would not be able to tell you, <laughs> other than Luke Skywalker. Somebody was shooting out back there before, but I don't know. Oh, they're shooting at the freaking landowner, because I can hear the landowner stomping about. Well, let's not go over there then, otherwise that'll be a bit of a risk. Let's leave them well be. Let's go towards this priory. So yeah, Mark Hamill, you know, if you ask me to uh, name another movie he's been in, or another big role that he's played, I, I couldn't. Because the thing is, like, you have Han Solo, um, you know, they said, you know uh, Harrison Ford, who played Han Solo, and, you know, you can name plenty of roles that he's been in. Like, you know, Han Solo obviously in Star Wars, and Indiana Jones, for example. What's his face in friggin' The Fugitive, or whatever it was called. You know, the movie that I'm talking about. Among various other stuff. You know. Having said that, what about uh, Carrie Fisher? I probably actually couldn't name any movies that she's been in other than the Star Wars mon ones, but... Mm, okay. Uh, or what about the guy who played Darth Vader? What even is the name of the guy who played Darth Vader? I've probably heard it before, but I've completely forgotten what it was. So, how embarrassing of me to forget the actor who plays such an iconic role. Yeah, just eat some cat food, because I can. Well, let's keep going. Oh, look, this would... You know, this village here would be ideal for doing a friggin' uh, parkour assassin challenge because you've got this fantastic little ramp up here that you could take and you could jump up onto the roof like this, couldn't you? See? With a fucking blunderbuss, you could probably do some damage. Hey. How you doing down there, bud? Ooh, do you reckon I can make this jump? Yes, I can. There we go. Roof tile seems to be missing on the uh, attic here. Look at that. It's like fucking Assassin's Creed all up in this bitch, isn't it? Good lord. <laughs> it's like it's like a shit British version of Assassin's Creed. <laughs> oh, Assassin's Creed down in the dales. Down in the walls. Jumping on village rooftops from the local church to the local pub. Nine till five. Right. What am I even talking about at this stage? I don't even know. I'm just sort of rambling. Trying to think of things to f fill the dead air between now and when I actually finish this episode. How long have I been recording for? I haven't been paying any attention to it, either. Got to be at least ten minutes, right? At least. I don't know. What we'll do is we'll get to the centre island, we'll deposit device pieces, we'll then take a boat across to a remaining island, and then probably we'll think about wrapping up there. Okay, right. So, I mean, that won't take too long, will it? It'll only be a few minutes to do that. It's getting towards night time again. <laughs> Whoa, jeez. <laughs> God, you slid right down there. Bloody hell. It's one of those scary moments when you're going down a hill and momentarily you sort of slip and you like, feel like you're sliding right down. All right, uh, jump cut, just to cut out the loading screen. Uh, back in, right, get my blunderbuss out once more. We'll head back to the Standing Stones. This time I'll try and remember to actually stop off at the pub where I'm keeping all of my weapons, just so that way I've got some backup stuff. I mean, I've got, I've got the old axe. But, having said that, you know, the axe... Axes, I don't know, I'm always a bit reluctant sometimes to use them, because in order to use them effectively, you have to get so close. You have to get into melee range of your enemies, your enemies, to actually deal with them. And we just really don't want that. If only the hatchet was like a Star Wars lightsaber, eh? And I could deflect shotgun rounds coming in at me. Oh dear, yes. Right, so, go across the field. Oh, there is a dog in the distance. Moving across the screen, he's out of sight now, but you might have just seen him a moment ago as he passed in front of those standing stones. Now, so since he should be out of the way, we should be good, right? Oh, there's the landowner of it. Oh, God. Oh, God, there's bloody robots by the flipping pub. Of course there is. I wanted to just check that in case there was anything else there, but looks like that's not going to happen. Unless we do something a little sneaky and we pull them out in this direction. Like so. As long as the friggin' landowner doesn't go over there, though. Otherwise that's going to be an issue. Alright, let me get this thing out. As long as they head out there, away from the back door of the pub, we should be golden, just to check in and see what they're actually up to. Assuming they can actually hear it from this range. Because he is moving in my... I don't know. 
for it. You're going to bugger off? Kind of wish you would. So I don't have to deal with you. Alright, there we go. They've heard it. Right, go on. Get out of there. Now, whilst you can. And let me... Oh, fuck me. There's more hunters inbound in this direction. Stay down. Like so. Back door. Uh, what should we take? What should we take? Should we take revolver and maybe some spare rounds for it? Like this. There we go. Right, fuck. Get out of here. Go, 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 go. Whoa, there's a few of them over there. That got hairy, didn't it? Jesus. Good lord. Right, okay. So, we've done the North Island, and now we just have the South and the East. In which case, um, let's see now. Well, South is... Oh, God, he's off that. Oh, my God, that's a big-ass patrol, that is. All right, let's loop around him. We'll head southward, I think. Hang on, let's have a look at the map. Um, south Jetty, I am guessing, is the one... Well, it'll be the one sort of in that kind of direction that I'm now facing in. Probably, yeah. Damn it, so I have to kind of go where they are. Unless we do this. So loop around in a big wide arc. Red using his pro sir skills to navigate his way to where he needs to be. I say pro sir skills, and of course, knowing me, I'm going to get myself shot to pieces. Because it always happens. Huh. Village with a tower in the middle. Okay. Let's go. Can still hear blip blop blippity blue blaring from these robots. There's the landowner up there. He's doing his thing. Well, as long as he buggers off in that direction and leaves me the hell alone, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, go into that thicket. You get. Alright. Okay, just check a few doors whilst we're at it. Okay, no. Okay, there's a jetty that's shown up on the compass. So if we head in that direction, we should be absolutely okay. And once again, we'll jump cut, just as I uh, get rid of the loading screen. Or get through the loading screen, rather. Right, so, we are approaching the route to the South Island. I must say, challenge so far. We're doing really well. Not too bad. It's not often that I get to use this blunderbuss, as I said uh, before. You know, let's not repeat myself, actually, too many times. Okay. Actually, I, I may as well just actually fucking jump cut from here, because there's not going to be much else to see here now that we're on the jetty, eh? And we're back in. Okay, South Island over here. You can tell by the colour scheme that it's got castle-themed elements to it. To its design, that is, this biome, this island. So yeah, um, we'll wrap up here to make this uh, episode 365. Hope you'll join me for episode 366, where we'll continue on, of course. We'll hopefully get this island cleared as well. In the meantime, uh, Facebook and Twitter links down below, along with a link to my propagandist channel for anyone interested. And of course, like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz if you enjoyed it. And of course, uh, let me know in the comments, favourite Star Wars movie and all that. You know, <laughs> it's a topic of conversation, right? Goodbye, everybody. This chassis. No. He's not a car, me. He's a robot. <laughs> he's a per he's a robotic person. Yeah, get those wheels, get those gears going. I'm sure he feels the same thing about you. I'm sure you do, girl. I'm sure you do. You definitely know what you're doing, too. If you keep this up, I just might... Might what? Oh! <laughs> God, Lord. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. <laughs>